one year into the Dutch coronavirus lockdown, and most of the Netherlands agrees it's time to euthanize this thing. Greg Shapiro, United States of Europe, making fun of the EU the American way, and in the Netherlands, we are celebrating by getting haircuts. At least, well, uh, I should get one tomorrow. Getting a haircut in the Netherlands right now is like buying a gun in the United States. Sometimes there's a two-week waiting period. In fact, that is now the main negotiating tool for the Dutch Prime Minister. Behave yourselves or we'll cancel your haircut appointment. Me, right now, I'm looking like this. I was hoping to grow it out enough to look like Jim from The Office, but instead, Krusty the Clown. The other way the Netherlands is celebrating one year of the pandemic is with national elections, and the ruling Fei Fei Day party of Prime Minister Mark Rutte seems to be in the lead in the polls. Although the Fei Fei Day currently stands for vaccinations, very disappointing, the corona tracing app, which took forever and then violated everyone's privacy, and of course the free universal COVID testing, which, yeah, we're still waiting for. And yet, most of the Netherlands is like, eh, this is fine. So it's high time that we again look at one year of the Netherlands in pandemic lockdown. It was the year of the coronavirus, or hear the artist's rendering of the coronavirus, and it all started in March of 2020, with the Prime Minister telling us not to give handshakes while ending his press conference with a handshake. Truly the number one TV series this year has been the pandemic press conference with new breakout star Irma, the sign language interpreter. Creating the sign language word of the year, Hamsteren, aka hoarding. 2020 was of course hard on the economy, like the theater sector and the airline sector. Theaters which have to close again completely while airlines are able to remain at full capacity for most of the year. Because of course airlines can always put the top down for better ventilation. Personally, I was happy to perform for 30 people at a time because I was performing in theaters at 20% capacity before it was cool. And now, for so many people, the show must go on is not going on. And cinemas? Again, it's now showing nothing starring nobody, or in Amsterdam, a marquee saying, what are you doing here? Go home. Remember in March of 2020 when the prime minister gave a speech from his office in Het Torentje when he told everyone, relax, you'll probably all get the virus, just not all at once. Ritter got a lesson in nudge theory when he told everyone not to do panic buying and everybody went panic buying because you can't spell pandemic without panic. Toilet paper in particular was in short supply. I mean, this stuff doesn't grow on trees. And it's not like the government will provide you with medical masks. No, you have to buy them yourself or make them yourself. One big lesson we've learned in the past year, wash your hands. This simple lesson can be difficult for some people, such as the Dutch. There was a survey a couple years ago asking the same question all over Europe, do you wash your hands after using the toilet? And there was one country which is by far lower than anyone else, the Netherlands answering only 50% yes. Uh, maybe that is just efficient, you know, we only wash one of the two hands. But washing your hands in the Netherlands can be difficult because here they really put the closet in water closet. I mean, where are you supposed to wash your hands here anyway? You're supposed to reach into the back of the toilet? And don't give them any ideas. This is an actual toilet design. And this one is called the Harry Potter toilet for the boy who lives under the stairs. And if you can stand up and get any pee-pee into the pot, then you're a wizard. If there's no hand soap available, please don't forget to satanize your hands. And for that matter, help us make your pubic areas safe. Do not let anyone put their face in your pubic area. Another lesson we've learned is social distancing. You can tell the importance of social distancing from the body language at this press conference. Mark Rutte saying, stay in your own space. The translator saying, get away from me. And Hugo de Jonge shooting himself in the head. Since last March, the rule is there are two types of people in this world. Avoid both. Obey the floor markings in public buildings, making you feel like a rat in a maze or a sheep in a pen. All to keep us safe from the people in front of us in line. And thank goodness the virus can't move sideways. Clearly we need more guidance going in and out of buildings, like t-shirted stewards and stickers on glass doors. Although if you stick this to the window, the world makes more sense. There are now signs telling us to say one and a half meters apart and blijf binnen, or stay inside, unless, you know, it's nice weather. 
And then you see the beauty of the Dutch system, strict rules with generous exceptions. And finally, it's never been more important to work from home. This man is not just homeschooling, but he might himself be a teacher. Remember the BBC correspondent who was Zoom bombed before we even knew what that was? At the time, everyone was outraged. Why didn't he stand up to help contain his own kids? And now we know the answer. There's no way he was wearing trousers. Because this is the new business casual. But hey, at least I finally got a haircut. Stay safe, stay sane, and thank you very much.